Hey Yankees fans, what is up? It is Phyllis from RemoWineNews.com. Wow, what a turn of events. The Red Sox are still winning without Mookie Betts. That is crazy. In my opinion, if you are witnessing that, that is a red flag. If you are a Yankees fan, that the Red Sox are still in first place and performing well without Mookie Betts. I know I put out a video saying, are we about to witness the Red Sox decline? Because arguably, Mookie Betts has been the Red Sox best player, aside from J.D. Martinez. So this is crazy. And you want to know what else is crazy? Sonny Gray wins back-to-back -back games off of gems. His last store wasn't as impressive as tonight's store. Sonny Gray actually looked like an ace. Versus a sub four team. I know his last start was against the Baltimore Orioles, who had a record of what? 13 and 40, something like that. But this one was more impressive due to the fact that he had a no hitter up to the what? Fifth inning. And he shut down the Blue Jays, allowed zero runs, and he stayed like that. The bullpen did his job as well. So a lot of crazy things are happening, folks. Things that we can't predict. It's just happening. We couldn't predict that Sonny Gray would have back-to-back -back wins off of, let's face it, great ace caliber starts. Hey, Sonny Gray becoming what the Yankees traded for? Who knows? In my opinion, we have to see more starts. But I'm going to give credit where it's due. Sonny Gray is coming through. Also, CeCe Zabathia gave the Yankees a great start as well. Things move quickly as you see through baseball. But, like everybody else is saying out there, give them more starts. The trade deadline is July 31st. Let's see what this rotation can do before then. We know they've been up and down. Consistency is the key. And it's going to have to be consistent due to the fact, yet again, like I mentioned, the Red Sox are not slowing down. They are performing without Mookie Betts. Like I said, if this proves that they're not a 100-win team, which we've been seeing all season long, then I don't know what else to tell you. The Yankees, like I said, we all know they're going to make moves come trade deadline. But it's become more evident that they do. They need to stay in this race for first place. A lot of different teams or competing for that second wild court spot. We all know the Yankees, Astros, and even the Red Sox are going to be top three in Major League Baseball. This is dangerous due to the fact that the Astros have fallen to second place. Now, they're competing for their first wild court spot with the Yankees. So, it appears that the Red Sox are not slowing down. It appears that the Red Sox are a legit contender this year. And like I said, the Yankees all, all, all season long have to keep up with the Red Sox. Now they have to keep up with the Astros because it looks like the Astros can't hold their division versus the Mariners. So Yankees fans, that is all that I have for you at this moment. And like always, this has been Felix from M1News.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.